Hey y'all. <laughs> Ooh, today <laughs> I finally got my pie. The pie that I've been waiting for. Cereal killer pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I I love cereal. Um, and I also love watching documentaries, docudramas, um, little true crime thingies on serial killers. Um, it's kind of a psychology thing, I guess. You know, kind of getting in the mind of someone different, I guess, trying to figure out what makes them tick. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's something that I'm interested in. So uh, before I get started with that, because I wanted to, you know, of course, talk about serial killers while I eat cereal killer pie, um, I'm going to cut into my pie. Oh, before that, I got this pie from the pie hole, um, and if y'all watched my pie day video, y'all would have seen that there was a little mix-up, and I got some of their other pies, which were very good, actually, um, but you know, I'm so glad to get this pie finally, but um, the pie hole, you can go visit them online at thepiehole.la.com, um, pie is love. I don't know if the glare is too bad for y'all to see that, but yeah. And this pie was, uh, yeah, enjoy. Pie mom, pie mom made my pie. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can cut into this pie. <clears throat> the cereal wasn't actually on the pie when I got it. But I put the cereal on it and kind of smooshed it down on there a little bit. Clean hands. So. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Man. Wow. Okay. I don't know how good that is, but. Yeah, they weren't gonna. Am I even cutting into the crust? I hope so. I guess I'll find out. Hmm. Well, got a big honking piece. And we'll see. cereal. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> what on earth are you doing in there, doggy? <laughs> Got him in the pen. I didn't let him out yet this morning. <sighs> okay. Serial killer. Well, don't put it on top of your paper candy. <laughs> and leave it here where people can see it. Just a second, you guys. Come on. Okay. There we go. Sort of. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Okay. Let's get a bite of pie. Okay. This is a custard pie. This is going to be good. Okay. Mmm. Ooh, cereal. Y'all like Fruit Loops? I love Fruit Loops. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. It tastes almost like cheesecake. I think that's got white chocolate bits in it. What are you doing there, Pa Mom? There are bits of white chocolate in that. Mmm. It's like a super creamy cheesecake filling. With bits of cereal all through it. Now that's good. Okay, that's that's the pie I was hoping for. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was chocolate. It could have just been crust. Mmm. Mmm. It had a very nice buttery texture though. Oh. Okay, one more bite. And we'll talk about our first serial killer. <laughs> Fun. Mmm. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail here about these people. Because I don't want to really gross anybody out while I'm trying to eat pie. Um, I'm not going to put up any pictures. I'm not going to put up any video. I'm just going to give a few basic facts. You know, like... Um, certain monikers that they were given, a uh, few dates, um, kill count, <laughs> um, prison sentences or execution dates, things like that. Okay, the first one on my list is David Berkowitz, the son of Sam. Um, also known as the 44 caliber killer. I wasn't so aware of that name. That was that was actually kind of new to me. Um, I'm not super familiar with this guy, um, um, and I only have like a few, you know, snippets of his uh, stuff here. <laughs> um, but he was active in the 1970s, mid 1970s. Apparently, he was part of a cult 
and blame some of the killings on the cult members. I don't really know what came of that. Um, honestly, I didn't really think this out very far, but like I said, I just have a few like, you know, snippets, details, whatever. But one thing that I thought was really cool or really, not really cool, but kind of interesting or funny about this guy is he claimed that his neighbor's dog, <laughs> his neighbor's demon possessed dog instructed him to kill. Okay, dude. Hmm. Anyway. Um, in 1978, he was sentenced to 365 years in prison for six murders and seven attempted murders. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, this pie. Mm. But since... And... From what I was reading, I'm taking this to believe that he's still living. I don't know. I didn't do, you know, <laughs> I didn't do a whole lot of research. I was like, I didn't really care. Because <laughs> they're serial killers, you know. Like, I don't spend a whole lot of time watching stuff on serial killers, to be honest. But, they do pique my interest from time to time. Anyway, but since he was sentenced... He's become a born-again Christian and counselor for other disturbed prisoners. I guess that's noble. I guess that's something you can do while you're in prison. For 365 years. I don't really believe that that sentence is going to be carried out, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Mm. Yeah, I only have a handful of guys here. There's there's a gigantic amount. There was a gigantic amount of serial killers to, to choose from, but I only picked a few. <clears throat> you know, and I hate talking about the ones... You know that that hurt kids but aren't they the worst oh gross okay this John Wayne Gacy guy the killer clown scary terrifying mmm who's the reason so many people are scared of clowns and you look at this guy there's pictures of this pogo the clown guy oh. Ooh, creepy. Uh, yeah, Pogo the Clown. You know, he did local kids' parties. Um, and I believe he also had, like, a lawn maintenance company or something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, he was not a good guy at all. You know, he did bad things to teens that worked for him. Mm, and... Yeah. <laughs> Buried them in his yard. That was <clears throat> that was one thing. That was not cool. But yeah, they <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> oh, can you tell I'm uncomfortable even talking about this? Oh uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he spent 18 months in jail for, I don't even want to say the word. Yeah, I don't want to say that. Um, anyway, the murders began in 1972. Mm. He mostly assaulted and strangled employees of his landscaping company. That's what it was. Not lawn maintenance, landscaping. Mm. And other male youth, and then buried them around his house. He was arrested at the end of 1978 and was convicted 
of 33 murders two years later and executed by lethal injection in 1994. So they got him. Hmm. That still doesn't put my fears of clowns to rest. <laughs> mm mm mm. Mm mm. Now, I just watched season nine of American Horror Story. Mm. And it was 1984. Mm. And they really played up this Richard Ramirez guy, this Night Stalker. Mm. Yeah, he had a home invasion crime spree mm. from 1994. From June 1984 to August 1985 in San Francisco. He was a Satanist <clears throat> and apparently he would use things like handguns, knives, a machete, a tire iron, and a hammer. Yeah. Um, I think he killed a lot of elderly people. Mm. Never expressed remorse for his crimes. Sentenced to 19 death sentences, but died of complications from B cell lymphoma while awaiting execution on California's death row in June of 2013. Oh, he was in jail a long time. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they, they really played up his angle in that show. Mm. He was in some other seasons of American Horror Story. The Hotel. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's... I don't know. Yeah, I guess being a Satanist, he would be an interesting character. Um, hmm. But there are a few others that were way more interesting than him. I did have that Eileen Warnos um, on my list, but I took her off because I was trying to fit it all on my page. <laughs> uh, she was kind of interesting. Y'all could look her up. Um, Charlize uh, Theron, I think, uh -huh. pronouncing her name is difficult for me, but um, she did a movie called Monster, where she played her, and it, she did a really good job, you know, that, that lady was kind of, kind of out of it. Mm. I mean, one would say that she might have been protecting herself at one point or maybe it was self-defense at one point but then I think she kind of just got into it I don't know and it's like what drives these people and what kind of what kind of switch clicks you know in the back of somebody's mind to make them do things like that I guess that's where I find it interesting hmm Anyway, okay, whew, <laughs> all right, this one's pretty famous, um, yeah, they, they had a docu big, big documentary on him recently, um, and a movie also on Netflix. Mm. Ted Bundy. Mm. Mm. Campus killer or lady killer. Oh, I forgot to say that Richard Ramirez's moniker was Night Stalker. Yeah, that was that was his thingy. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, Ted Bundy, he was a law student and would tend to use his uh, charms and good looks to lure women to their deaths. Um, he was active in the mid-1970s and would use forensic knowledge to evade police across multiple state lines for years. He would dress as an authority figure or with a cast to gain victims' trust. Ugh, he would hit them over the head, them, and then strangle them. And he blamed pornography for all of his crimes. He admitted to over 30 murders. Uh, many have not been confirmed. And he was executed in the electric chair in 1989. So, got him too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now see, you just look like the average, average guy. Mm. Mm. Just like just like anybody else out there. And I was telling somebody in comments the other day that he was an interesting character because he's one of those wolf wolf in sheep's clothing types. You know, you just never know, you know. Um and it's like you, you think you can trust somebody and then BAM oh, You just don't know. It's like scary. That that's scary. That's what's scary. And they just seem harmless. Just just an average Joe. Hmm. Man. Hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. I've only got a couple more. Um, I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me y'all's favorites and tell me if I missed any any factoids that, that might have been interesting. And any of the ones that I've I've mentioned already. Mm. Mm. All right, the Milwaukee cannibal, the Milwaukee monster, we have Jeffrey Dahmer. Yep, he was a registered sex offender. His 16 murders, hey, wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, Ted Bundy, 30 murders, okay. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer, 16 murders, 16. Mm. Began in 1978. Yeah, he started young. Picked up victims in gay bars, had sex with them, drugged them, and killed them. <sighs> oh, I don't want to say this sentence while I'm eating. But they found. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all kind of know. They found bodies all around his, uh, his house. Hmm. Yeah, pretty yucky. <sighs> but there was evidence of necrophilia and cannibalism so in 1992 he was sentenced to 15 life terms but he was beaten to death by a fellow inmate two years into his term yeah they weren't having any of that in there it's like oh this dude's gotta go mm -mm. I mean, do I agree with that I don't know do I think he should have been able to carry out his sentence? I don't know. I don't know.
Hmm. That's such an interesting character, though. It was one of those really twisted kids. And it's like, what happens? What happens to a kid? Is it just some kind of morbid interest in anatomy? Maybe at first. And then you feel gross about it, maybe. And ashamed. And then it turns into something else. I don't know. Hmm. Mmm. Like I said, where does that switch flip? Hmm. Okay. I've got two more and then I'm done. Mmm. Are you done with my pop? Mmm. I may stop at one. I've got two really, really, really scary ones left. The worst of the worst. And I really don't know if I want to talk about the last one. Because, you know, he he went after kids, so he's scary. I mean, yeah, I might just give his name and then y'all can look up at, look him up at your own risk. Because he's scary. Um, but, okay, last but not least, Ed Gein. Or Gein? Ed Gein. Mm, the Plainfield Ghoul or The Mad Butcher. It's from Wisconsin. And inspired movies like Psycho, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and the Buffalo Bill character in Silence of the Lambs. Mm. The infeminate Gene grew up with a deep attachment to his abusive mother. He's the ultimate mama's boy. Um, he wanted to become a woman. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that, but something was twisted in his mind. He was abused, of course. Um... Only three murders were actually attributed to him, but he was terrifying because he robbed graves and murdered in order to sew himself a woman suit. Yeah. That he could wear. <sighs> when authorities searched his house, they found paraphernalia made of human body parts. <sighs> yeah, there's so much like, there's like pictures, video, all kinds of stuff on the internet of that. And I just, I don't wanna show it here because it's, it's really, it's really disturbing. Um, but Gene died of cancer while incarcerated for one murder and mental institution in 18, was it 1884? Yeah, it was eight, it had to be 1884. Hmm. I didn't know if I got that wrong. Oh no, might Google that again. Did I get that date wrong? It couldn't have been 1984. Excuse me, Google. Oh, let me wiki that. No, it was 1984. Okay, I just typed the wrong thing on my paper. Yeah, I'm glad I checked that out because that would have been embarrassing. I'm already embarrassed. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was a strange person. He's a strange one. Hmm. Yeah, he's what was called a body snatcher. Uh, go into the graveyard and dig up corpses. Oh, I hate that word. But, what else are you going to call him? <clears throat> but, okay. The one that I was hesitant to mention... And 
he doesn't get a lot of recognition as a serial killer. Um, basically because there were only... Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they actually proved that he killed these people or not. But he confessed to three that the police... Okay, yeah, he confessed to three that the police traced. And he confessed to stabbing two others. Okay. But I don't know if they were proven or not. So, I guess he didn't get a, a large enough count to, like, make the cut or whatever. <laughs> um, but Albert Fish... I look him up. He was a strange one. Mm. But yeah, they called him the Gray Man, the Werewolf of Wisteria, the Brooklyn Vampire, the Moon Maniac, and the Boogeyman. Mm. You want to know why they call him the Boogeyman? Because he predominantly was a child killer. Yeah. He once boasted that he had children in every state. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he he claimed about a hundred people. So, yeah, if if y'all are interested, y'all looked him up, look him up. He I mean he he did some really strange things. Um. Yeah, he was a he was an odd one. And if y'all thought Ed Gein was odd, Albert Fish was pretty odd too. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable, I can't stand it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Why did I do this? Bye. Anyway, oh man, Whew. there are so many, so many YouTube channels that devote themselves to discussing these topics, and it's like, I just, I would never, I would never be able to do it. I just couldn't, I couldn't. <laughs> just talking about stuff like that, it just, I get so cringy and so like, Nervous. I don't know if it's not fear. I don't. I don't think it's just uncomfortable feeling. It's just very, very uncomfortable. <sighs> mm. Yeah, that's my little list of <clears throat> the serial killers that tend to interest me the most. Um. Like if there's some kind of documentary or whatever, I'll stop and kind of look. But um, I have some kind of like short-term memory thing. It's like I'll watch something and it, it like, I'll watch it and then it like goes out, out of my brain like that. So a lot of these things I already know. Uh, and they're somewhere back in the vault. <laughs> You know, like I already knew that thing about the, the David Berkowitz's neighbor's dog. I had heard that years and years ago. But then I read it again and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I mean, of course it's not cool. It wasn't cool for him. It wasn't cool for his victims. But it was, it was like, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, the devil made me do it. <laughs> kind of, you know, literally. But, um, <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna get out of here. I got to tend to the puppy. Uh, let him out of the let him out of the fence. He's like really agitated. <laughs> but um, I love you guys very much, and thank you for joining me on this this serial killer pie morbid journey <laughs> through the world of serial killers. <laughs> um, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye now.